What is up, guys? Oh, you cannot see me. You cannot see me at all. <laughs> Beautiful. There we go. Huh. Welcome to the stream. I figured, why not? We'll just do spontaneous, do something different. And um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on in. All right. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation you have been transported you've been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution next 35 years 35 years oh lord you can build your dream company create best selling games gain fans and become the leaders market let's go ahead and start recording um so that way we can actually put this on YouTube later. Leader of the market. Okay. Before you can start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. Ooh. That's tough. Um let's do We could do Barefoot. Oops. Barefoot Studios. Or we could do classy games. Oh, no, no, no. I got it. I got it. Crustaceous. Crustaceous gaming. There we go. Player name. Classy. Crustaceo. Uh, will be a boy. Let's see what looks most like me. Hey, it's Ignis. <laughs> it's Ignis. Shall we go with Ignis? I'm not blonde though. I feel like we should go with Ignis. Well, let's see what else we have. I'm not a ginger. That looks most like me. I think I'm thinking we go with Ignis I used to have this shirt actually um, we'll pretend we're blonde oh man now we gotta now we'll keep it like that continue if you ever want to review your messages then you can do so in the help menu to access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, creating, and creating a game, simply press escape. Congratulations, you started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in, the, in a garage and you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere in the screen. Achievement unlocked. Supporter supporting a young startup by the game. Nice. That's how you know this is a legit copy. How come I don't have any noise? Click anywhere. Okay, well, let's develop a new game. Before development can bring you, or can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Unreal Engine. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Um, pick a topic. Uh, let's jump on the zombie craze. All right, our genre. Ooh. I feel like we need to keep it simple. We'll make it an action. And... Ooh. 20,000 to, to develop for the G64. Now we'll, we'll keep indie. We'll keep indie. We're going to do that. All right. What are we going to call this game? We'll call this game. Um, Zom Bro. Zombro homies. 
Text-based. No, we don't want to do text-based. That's boring. We'll do 2D graphics. We'll, we'll, we'll spend a little bit extra to do 2D graphics start development. Ooh. One in technology. Oh, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Oh. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. Hmm. Let's focus on gameplay, because we want gameplay to be really good. The engine, we'll do a little bit on the story. We'll make a really good story action game. Okay. $8,000! That's a ripoff. Here we go. Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points. Ooh, game points. Some game, generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Wish it were that easy. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and cost. Oh. So far, we only have one bug. I like the DeLorean that we have under the car. Ooh. We're in stage two of development. Um... Let's focus on level design and artificial intelligence. Let's do that. Okay. Oh, there's a bug. We got bugs. During development, you can select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increase the cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you defined the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. Okay, so we got 2D graphics and basic sounds. We can have it no sound. We can have it be a silent game. Uh... Let's increase the world design since we only have basic sounds and the graphics. I feel like because it's a zombie game, we don't need it to be that now. So let's just focus on world design and bump the sound up a little bit. Okay. Jesus Christ, we've already spent almost $40,000 on this game. And we have so many bugs. Publish, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cat if you need the cash and can't afford to wait. <laughs> right, well, hey, we've we've finished all the bugs. Increase the design a little bit, but we're finished. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. The development is complete, Tid. You will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Ooh, look at all that experience. New topic and a new combo. We're still only level one on everything. Got a lot of experience though. Yeah. Trash it. <laughs> Spent all this time we're going to trash it. We're going to release it. Good judgment. Create a game with good topic genre combination. Hand it off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Neat. Jeez. 
Generate game report. Unit sold. None. We haven't sold anything. Ooh, game review. First review of newly released game Zombro Homies came in. Uh, six out of five. Six out of ten. Three out of five. Fun at stages. Informed gamer. Has its moments by Game Hero. Have seen better by all games. <laughs> After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insight into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. Generate game report, a game report, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Game report. Select. Crustaceous, looks like Crustaceous, Crustaceous Gaming, a newcomer in the game industry, has released their first game, Zombro Homies. The game had a moderate response from reviewers. We are curious what Crustaceous, cr cr Crustaceous Gamings will deliver in the future. God, I came up with that name. I can't even say it. I can't even say my own name. We so oh, holy smokes, we sold 2,710 units in the first week. And we're number 38? That's not bad. Now that your game is on sale, you'll receive the income from the, the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. Ooh. Was successful. Zombro, Zombro Homies was so successful that we now have 10 fans! Oh man, we just sold 4,000 units! It pays off to generate a report for each game. Now that you've completed the first game, report. It's a good idea. Completed your first game report, it's a good idea to take a look at the research menu. The research menu, close this message and then click anywhere. Bring up the action menu. Research. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. Ooh, so we can be in-house. This will greatly improve your games. Try to develop games with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Oh man, we don't have enough rep. My neighbors are going crazy upstairs. How do I know what my RP is? All right, new topic. <gasps> Ooh, should we do martial arts or should we do comedy? I feel like we should do comedy. Start research. We're rank 53. Uh, our rank is going down. This isn't good. That's fine though. Research complete. Ooh. Our post-release analysis of Zombros Homies is complete. We got the following results. Zombies and action is a great combination. Story quests seem to seem to be not important for this type of game. We've successfully researched a new topic, comedy. Develop a new game. All right, we're gonna pick a topic. We're gonna try our new topic, our genre. Well, we're gonna make a simulation game, and our platform. It's gonna be twenty thousand dollars just to do that. Let's keep it here. Let's keep it simple. Uh, our comedy simulation game. We'll call it "That's My Wife." And again, we'll do 2D graphics. We'll start development. Hopefully we don't go bankrupt this time. All right. So the engine, I feel like we can spend less on gameplay we want, story and quests we want. 
because it's a comedy, so we need to do a lot of story. Platform news. Recent marks suggest that the Govador G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over, the, over other home computers. Say so this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Neat. So we just did that for the regular PC, but it's so much cheaper to develop for the regular PC. All right. Dialogues, we want the dialogues to be maxed. Level designs, maybe not so much. Artificial intelligence, we can drop a little bit. All right, we'll try that. We have some bugs. Zombros is off the market. 7,000 units generating 51,000 in sales. Man, okay. Comedy simulation, world design, graphics, sound. I'm gonna keep those all the same. 5K. Ugh. This costs so much. Finishing. Let's work out the bug. Finish. We've got all the bugs worked out. New topic, new combo! Yeah! Here we go. We'll release it. Alright. First reviews. That's my wife. Came in. One. Not much fun. Disappointing. Nobody liked this game. I focus so much on dialogue. A waste of time. Oh man. That's bad. That's really bad. The company Ninvento. <laughs> Let's see what they did there. Is planning to launch very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for a widely successful arcade game, <laughs> Dinky King. <laughs> Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but are eager to see what Ninvento will deliver. Alright, well. Should we do a game report? On that's my wife. All right, research. Tons of research. Despite it not doing well. We just, we're sold 3,000 units. Our post release analysis comedy simulation is a terrible combination. Artificial intelligence is very important. Platform genre match PC simulation. Great. All right. Um. Ooh, can we can we do research? Hold on. Can we do research? Let's research a new topic. Um. Let's do martial arts. We'll make a martial arts game. Next. See, that's what we do. We just need to invest in new research. We had our first big flop. Hopefully that doesn't bankrupt us. God, that would really suck within the first. Like, beginning of our company. Ninvento. Oh, come on. The TES. Gaming. The console features a cartridge-based games and uniquely designed controller. All right, pick a topic, martial arts, pick a genre, action, pick a platform. I can't develop for the Invento? All right, we'll try this. We're gonna call this game, um, the Copper Foot. That sounds like a disease. All right. It's gonna be 10K, but we're gonna do it. 
We're gonna push it, Copperfoot. He can insights and development the process and learn about what works well and what doesn't work so well. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen, unless you have turned this option off in the settings. The hints range from plus 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 to minus minus to indicate how, okay, yeah, that's what that was. It means great. Let's focus on the engine, not so much on story. Gameplay is always going to be like at the top. Oh, we only have $7,000! And there's a lot of bugs. Oh, we lost a fan. Dialogue's not so important. Artificial intelligence, huge. Level design, huge. Don't bankrupt us. Sold 4,000 units. Not too bad. Martial Arts. Ooh! From Patrick and Daniel Klug from Greenheart Games. We're the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you so much for purchasing. Ah, That's nice. And it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it. With your purchase, you support our little startup. And this will hopefully make sure that you can bring more. Oh, that's sweet. Seriously, you rock. Thank you so much. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. In the gets. Very meta. Alright. Graphics and sound. Bring the world design down a little bit. Uh. Oh. We're in the red. Ah, oh, shit. Thankfully, your bank has enabled you to overdraw your account up to 50000 If your account balance is below, I'll go bankrupt. Oh, great. Well, this game... Dang! Look at all of that. All right, let's get these bugs worked out. Uh, finished. New record! Yeah, on technology. All right, dialogues we didn't focus that much on. Level design we focused a lot on. Artificial intelligence was at a maximum. Oh, I'm so close to being level two. All right, we'll release the game. Oh, research points is what RP. Ooh, Copperfoot! Action game works well on PC. Nice experience. Yeah, I like it. I feel like it's a dice roll. Fun at stages. Man, all games is like... I'm okay with this idea. Ooh, contracts have been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message. Click anywhere on the screen. 